This is my story about how I used to look at people on the internet living these incredible lives and being so jealous of them because I didn't think that that was possible for me to finally sitting down one day and questioning why I didn't believe it was possible for me and then deciding to test it out and over the course of time creating a life that I'm so deeply inspired by and grateful for and being able to sit here in front of you today and say, you can do it too. In 2019, I opened my own gym and I did it because that's all I really knew what to do. That was my education, that was my life experience. And although I didn't really enjoy it, it felt like my only option and the most empowering option that was available to me at the time. And then six months after I opened this gym where I was an entrepreneur for the first time, I had to close down for five months because of COVID. And I was faced with this dilemma because I was relieved. Here I was a brand new business owner and feeling so grateful that I took the leap and proud of myself for putting myself in a position where I could earn my own money and be my own boss and yet I was relieved that I didn't have to work and that is not a great place to be when you're a brand new business owner. One day while I was closed I was doing my own workout in my gym and I was listening to a podcast and this girl was talking about how you can build the life of your dreams. You can do whatever you want and there is nothing limiting you and there is nothing stopping you and she was proof of that. And I remember thinking to myself, that's not true. I can't just do whatever I want. There are limitations. I I can't just leave my business. I can't just go out and and have a good time. I'm I'm limited with what I can do, with what's possible for me and what I'm capable of. And I remember being really triggered by her saying that. And yet it sparked this longing in me because I so deeply wanted to believe that that was true. I just didn't think it was true for me. Although I never listened to that podcast again, it stuck with me. <laughs> and I ruminated on how I felt about what she said for weeks. And I finally started to question why I believed that it wasn't possible for me because clearly it was possible for her. She wouldn't be saying that if she didn't fully believe it. So what was different about her? What was special about her that wasn't for me? Why was I limited in my life where she wasn't? I was so used to coming up with all of these reasons why it wasn't possible for me. But for the first time, I gave myself permission to inquire and get curious around how it could be possible for me. And if it was possible that I could create the life of my dreams, what could that look like? And inside of doing that, I had to admit to myself how unhappy I was. And that was the hardest part, was coming face to face with that truth, that I was deeply unhappy and unsatisfied in doing something that I didn't enjoy, and yet I didn't feel like I had any other skills. I didn't feel like even if I wanted to make a change that I had the capacity to. And that's where I was always stuck. And so rather than staying stuck inside of, I don't have the ability, I asked myself, how could I have the ability? And that's when everything changed. I realized that what I wanted above all else 
was to be able to work remotely because if I could work remotely, then I wouldn't be tied to my physical location where I knew I wasn't happy. And so the first step was asking the question, how could I work remotely? And I realized that nutrition was very close to what I was doing as a personal trainer. And if I could provide nutrition services online, then I could work more remotely than I was at that point in time. And that's when the ball started really rolling. I took a nutrition course so that I could feel more comfortable coaching people from that perspective. And one thing led to another, which led to another. The nutrition coaching led to life coaching. The life coaching led to spiritual coaching. I was working with my own coach at the time because I was feeling so anxious and overwhelmed and stressed at that point in my life. And it was through working with her and taking all of these courses and doing my own personal development work that I developed new skills. And I pushed myself to see more and more possibility that only presented itself to me when I gave myself permission to take the next leap. And now here I am five years later with a completely different skill set than I had before, with a completely different frame of reference for myself and the world around me that I did before. Doing something that I birthed through my imagination that I never could have pictured years prior, let alone six months prior. Every step of the way, the universe gave me a tiny little breadcrumb. They put people in my path that were there at the right place at the right time to help me. And it was only because I gave myself permission to take one leap at a time that eventually created this life that I'm living now. I think we ask ourselves, what do you want? And when we don't know, we freak out because we feel like we're supposed to know. And what I learned is that you don't have to know and a lot of the time you won't. But there are some things that you will know that you want. Small things, things that won't be life changing, but things that will create tiny little shifts inside of who you are and how you feel that will eventually lead to something new. And it's through trusting that if you are honest with yourself about what you want and you are willing to take tiny little leaps of faith, you will be guided eventually to something so incredibly great that this current version of you doesn't have the capacity to even believe is possible for you. I am sitting here in front of you today, a testament to what that girl on that podcast said is true. And if you're listening to me today, feeling resistance, to what I'm saying, feeling in disbelief of what I'm saying in the way that I was back then, I want you to know that I see you. And what that's giving you is a gift because it's very subtly showing you where you're still not believing in you. And when you can be willing and give yourself permission to open up to the greatness that lives inside of you and the potential of what you can create with it, you will have the capacity to live a life beyond what you could possibly believe at this moment in time. And ultimately, the most exciting part of this is not the life that you're going to be creating. It's the version of you that will be realized and embodied in the process.